Hi there, Renee Asse of Lowell, Massachusetts, and it's 100 degrees out, so I'm wearing a sundress, and I know some people are concerned about modesty, but oh well. Um, so I'm going to talk about the Moms for Liberty and the Project 2025. So I am a faithful practicing Catholic, but I'm not a cons politically conservative Catholic either, right? So I don't get caught up in those culture wars. And when I was on Twitter, I was on Twitter for over a decade. I got caught up caring about individuals with gender dysphoria, and then I became this like perfect target demographic for the far right. Because, <laughs> you know, I am a practicing Catholic. I'm married with four kids. For a time, I was a stay-at-home mom. I actually practice like natural family planning. Like I come off as one of those far right women, and I'm not because I'm Catholic and I care about people. <laughs> Let me get to the point. So. I was caring about those with gender dysphoria and my feed was getting further and further into this like what I call conservative hedonism. They're not really pro-family values. They will use the concept of like patriotism and family values as a way as a con, like as a scam to get you on their side, but they really don't care about family stability or the you know this the health of our nation they're just there for power sex and money so in regards to the gender dysphoria issue i got cut out i was just hyper focusing on one individual that i trusted and was sharing his inf his interview because i thought he was a regular guy i believe at one point he was a decent individual but he was getting kind of weird and wonky like i remember he was like he did an inter he did interview both Peachy Keenan and Helen Ward, which was far, far right. And then like an auto gynophile, Phil Illy. He used to have like random diverse interviews, but this felt different because, you know, like Peachy Keenan's kind of like far right racist. She is, guys. And like he was like partaking one of like her little Twitter fallouts because she, she was kind of posting something really kind of racist. And then I remember correct trying to correct Peachy Keen about the teachings of marriage and the Catholic Church and she just blocked me so it's about Benjamin Boyce and this is what's so irony about this whole thing because like he was interviewing some moms for liberty people and some like conservative conservative people that really didn't focus me because he had a wide range of just regular people as well and so the moms for liberty had that like a mommy three-way scandal where the Republicans mass drop and they just realize like how much they don't really believe in like fidelity and trust and love and things were getting a little wonky just getting I kept muting words I'm um, not just a council when I was muting words it was getting a false impression of people because it wasn't like the word groomer I muted that word because like that's rude that's not appropriate but like apparently everybody was using the word groomer I was just like do 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 oblivious oh I'm so embarrassed by that and one of the hilarious things, I look back at y'all so angry because this guy, Benjamin Boyd, I go with mutuals with him and I thought he was a real cool guy, really intelligent. I really thought this guy was really smart. And I, I have a uh, affection for smart men, not a romantic affection because my brother passed away when I was 13 years old and he was a really smart guy, a really well bred guy. And, um, I have no other siblings, so I always have like have this like open area of my heart, like a sibling type. Like I always look up to a guy who's really smart, like for like a brother like type affection. I guess apparently, it's really like just what it is, right? And I just really like Renee. You've been doing this for the past like thirty years. You're always looking for like a brother and somebody. I'm like oh, you're right. Shoot. But anyway, that's my little, like, side embarrassed thing about that. But I really kind of, like, gave him, like, this brother role in my mind and online, apparently. Ugh. So, but going on to this, um, he made a really weird recommendation. Because it was acting out really wonky. Just, like, he was going really far, far right in how he was just speaking himself. And then he, like, I was, like, questioning something. He's like, you need to read some Mary Harrington. Mary Harrington is, like, this far right woman and it's just like I don't agree with anything she says she just had a weird attitude towards things and she like spoke at the Heritage Foundation but she's like from England she's like this little far-right female guru I guess right so the Heritage Foundation where like Billboard Chris and Libs of TikTok and the Moms for Liberty all of them 
don't actually care about children or schools or gender dysphoria or anything. They're just there to rile up a demographic base like me. And what pissed me off is, as you see in my video, my title of my YouTube channel, everything I have is about love, trust, and fidelity. And at the time, at the time with him, we got lady, he was involved in a monkey branching affair because he was living with another woman. And all of a sudden, he was like with Leslie Elliott. And so I DM'd the guy, like, what happened? He was like, I don't know what they're stressing about. I don't know what you're talking about. My husband's like, get out, get out now. And I love Twitter. And I had a meltdown because my meltdown involved just feeling stupid. I felt dumb. And like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not the brightest person in the world, but I stay away from trouble. I'll stay away from people who are trying to con me and manipulate me. And, uh, when somebody recommended Mary Harrington, I should have really, really backed up. I didn't see the whole, the whole, the whole thing of what was going on, right? Like, you think I'm a stupid freaking moron, Mary Harrington? Like, Ugh. and, you know, I think that was just really kind of insulting and hurtful, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. And realize that this, this voice and all these characters are just cons. They're frauds. They don't actually even believe the things that they say. Right? They'll promote all this like conservative family patriotism. And they're just like I, I, horrible men. Men that I would not ever, ever associate with. I can't stand conservative. Here I am, a practicing Catholic, faithful to the magisterium. Like, I go to church every day, Sunday, 7 a.m. I, I'm faithful to my husband, but my husband doesn't treat me like a bang maid. Uh, this, this, this is no hands made tale here about marriage. I'm a whole being. I'm a whole being of a whole person. Yes, sometimes I would stay at home mom, but my husband never like put me down for that. Like I'm not a trad wife. I just stayed at home because it made sense. So <laughs> thoughts on project 2025. You probably know where I'm going here right now. It's just a long rant. It's full of shit. They just want to capitalize off of fear mongering fear mongering that's all it is they want to scare you out of the public schools and like three out of my four kids went to private school but the average public school the public school teachers care about academics and math and reading and writing the stuff that you don't like there i don't like it either but like 99 percent of the stuff is just writing or writing math you know reading that's what they care about Hey, yeah, there is a trans lobby. Yeah, there is a gay lobby. But, you know, it's like, focus on the other 95%. And that little bit just gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And you don't worry about it. Right? Um, yeah, so I felt like a fool. And this is a weird rant. But stay away. That Project 2025, they're trying to rile up parents. And they don't give two shits. They don't give two shits about conservatives. Conservatives don't give two shits about conservatism. I'm like the only freaking idiot like on Twitter at that time a year ago who actually cared about family stability, cared about, you know, I care about my country. It's these motherfuckers, sorry, swear, 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 I got to swear. But they're just evil, nasty people who don't care. They don't even care about the, the girls with gender dysphoria, by the way. They don't care about DGN traditioners as well. Because you see with that gen spec thing back in October, I was taking a little peek over like, oh, you know, they were promoting auto gun files because big pharma always wins. Big pharma always wins. The majority of people who are getting trans um, health are not like people under 18, very small, small fraction, but they always focus on the Chloe Coles because there's auto gun files. And if you really cared about the gender dysphoria thing, Think about how many male rapists identifying as women are in female prisons. It's really disturbing. And, you know, that's something that I wish the Democratic Party would have. The Republican Party doesn't give two shits about that. They just want you to focus on the Chloe Coles. They don't really care about women. They hate women. And I'm a pro-lifer. I'm a pro-lifer. But the people who cry in pro-life don't really care about the predicament women are in when they're pregnant. They don't do anything to actually help pregnant women. They just ban abortion. Anyway, love you all.